You know, I, I think you should have to begin by giving Xavier a lot of credit. I think they outplayed us um, in uh, basically in every area. Um, so I think they deserve a lot of credit. And obviously, I've got to do a better job of, of getting us prepared for uh, this type of game. And, uh, you know, we, need, we certainly need to be better moving forward. We certainly need to be better moving forward. But I, I don't want to take anything away from Xavier. I thought they uh, were physical and tough and aggressive. Got every 50-50 ball, every loose ball. Um, you know, made every shot they needed to make. They imposed their will on us defensively. And uh, we certainly didn't have an answer for him inside. How much do you miss Andrew in a game like this? You know, I, I think uh, it's it's not really – certainly he, he's a really good player, an important part of what we're doing. But there's – you know, we, we certainly didn't talk about that to our team afterwards. There's no excuses. You know, I think Xavier uh, outplayed us. They outplayed us. And uh, there's, there's no excuses. And uh, – we need to do better. I need to do better, a uh, better job preparing them for, for this. I, I think they uh, obviously uh, we'll, we'll get Andrew back soon enough. But uh, you know, Xavier beat us tonight. Chris, obviously with their size, that's an advantage for them to begin with. But did you get a sense at all today that they were not going to let Roosevelt drive the lane at all? They looked like they were really intent on coming in all the time. Yeah, they were, and they're big. <coughs> You know, they're big, Michael, um, but that's not entirely different than, you know, we, we get played a lot, but certainly they might have made that more of an emphasis. And, you know, I think that uh, they loaded up on his drives at a pretty high level, um, as a lot of teams would do. And, um, you know, we just need, we need to do a better job of, of, of making sure our guys are in the position they need to be in. I, I, you know, I think we could have passed the ball better than what we did tonight. And that was that was disappointing. Um, I felt like we had uh, didn't have the kind of ball movement that I, that we would like to have offensively that re really hurt us. And it shows in our off uh, assist to turnover numbers. I don't feel like they you know, really until the last five minutes, I don't feel like we moved the ball like we needed to. So certainly something we need to improve on. Coach, what do you need to do to maybe create some easier offense? Because the two games without Andrew, you've averaged 57 points a game. You know, it's, we're going to have to look at it. Is it tweaking our lineup some? Um, potentially, we may have to tweak our lineup some. You know, I think, I'd like to think we're going to get more production out of some guys we, that struggled tonight, Tom. Um, but, well, you know, we may need to tweak our lineup a little bit. You know, it's hard to do against some people because if you do go smaller, um, a team like Xavier has a real, real advantage uh, in terms of their size. So there's... There's a, there's a catch twenty two that we're going to have to, but it could be it could be tweaking or changing our lineup for sure, um, and then our, you know I think what was disappointing is we weren't, our strengths weren't our strengths tonight, you know they weren't our strengths, and uh, uh, for us we know we're not going to be good if our strengths aren't our strengths, and there's a competitive edge that we have to play with if we're going to be good. If we don't play with that competitive edge, we're going to look not so good. And again, that's that's on me. We we did not have the competitive edge tonight. Again, give Xavier a lot of credit for that. Coach, you you lead the Big East in rebounding margin, um, but the two games without Andrew, um, you've either tied in rebounding or been out rebounded. And Andrew only averaged like yeah. 27 rebounds a game, so it wasn't like he was Cameron or something. Right. Why are you guys struggling to rebound the basketball without Andrew? Yeah. I wouldn't read too much into that. It's a small sample size. I don't think it, that makes a significant uh, impact. Uh, Andrew does do a good job of being a big body and blocking guys out, but I, I wouldn't read too much into that. I, you know, I think he certainly affects our ability to score the ball. But uh, uh, and we'll look at it. You know, they had eight offensive rebounds. They hurt us in the glass. We were in rotation too much. Some of it was some of our post traps where we got in rotation and they got on the glass. But uh, Again, they, you know, I don't remember a 50-50 ball that we got tonight, and that's not us. I don't remember one we got tonight, and that's not us. Can't be us. If that's us, um, then we're going to really struggle. Chris, how big a concern is that then? Because, you know, your coaches say all the time 50-50 balls, sometimes it's effort. Yeah. Stuff, 
Sure, I, I, uh, there's no question. I don't think we played with the effort or the energy that we needed to. It's certainly a concern. There's no question. Um, you know, again, we played a good team on the road and uh, did not do what, you know, our strengths weren't our strengths. We didn't do what has, um, you know, helped us have a, uh, get to this point. So, um, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how we'll see how we respond to this uh, this situation. And just one other thing real quick. You mentioned things you didn't that should be your strengths was outside shooting and three-point shooting in particular. One of the things that I think should be your strength. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think we had – I'd have to go back and look at it. We had, we had some op open looks. You know, Alex has shot the ball great. Obviously, Kellen has shot the ball great. Um, but – and, uh, and Austin has shot the ball well uh, at, at various times. But, you know, I think, again, give Xavier credit. They locked into uh, our guys that have been shooting the ball well and made it difficult for us to get clean looks. So, you know, we obviously got to find a way to get them easier, easier looks. I, I I like what Tyler gave us today. I do. I think um, you know he he didn't turn it over. Had four assists. I thought he passed the ball well. There were a couple times where he laid behind the post, you know. But it's it's uh, you know he's a freshman. He's still learning how to play the post without fouling. Um, but I like you know I like what he gave us. I thought he made some winning plays today. Um, you know, for the most part. So I, you know, that was, I, you know, if there's a, if there's an encouraging, and I'll have to go back and watch the tape, but if there's something encouraging about it, I thought he gave us some good moments against some really good post players. How about Austin? Uh, you're talking about post defense or just in general? general you know, I think, I think Austin, you know, Austin's at his best when he's playing extremely hard. Um, and again, I think collectively, I wouldn't just put it on Austin. I just think collectively we have to ratchet up. Uh, our effort, but yeah, I thought he got a couple clean looks. Um, you know, I'm sure he's going to look at it and feel like he turned the ball over more than what he would have liked to. And but uh, yeah, I've got great confidence that he's going to uh, he's going to respond the right way. He's uh, you know, given us a lot of good things throughout the year, and, and we're going to certainly need that down the stretch. Anything else for coach? Thank you, coach. Okay. <laughs>